Hi, thanks very much for clicking on the video link. My name is Natalie Armstrong Lotan with Marketing Resolution. And thanks very much for joining me for another in the series of idle chat interviews for the American Bar Association's Section for Dispute Resolution. And today I get to talk to colleague Hershenia Hershey Brown. Hi, Hershey, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Natalie? I'm doing very well. So, Hershey, you know how this goes. The cards get shuffled. The cards dictate what you and I are going to talk about. <laughs> so, let's see what we've got here, my friend. This is exciting. I just feel that way. <laughs> All right. The first card at the top of the deck. What was the last photograph you took? Oh, uh, that was uh, about two weeks ago because I'm currently recording uh, a video for my crowdfunding campaign. So I had to have some type of image uh, for the, the, the page, for the link. So that All was right, excellent. Ago. Cool. And what are you crowdfunding? Uh, my new novel. So I'm going to be yeah, I'm trying to crowdfund for uh, money for editing and other uh, publishing purposes. Uh, I've published a, published a few books before, but this is my first fictional novel. So the editing is is way more costly. You have to go through a developmental process and make sure the, the plot is correct and everything ties in. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. So that's what the crowdfunding campaign is for. Well, congratulations. Thank Good you. For you. Uh, Hershey, who is the most creative person you know? Okay, let's see. There are so many creatives out there that I personally know. Hmm. I don't, you know what? I, I, there are so many people. I don't know because there are a lot of people that's in the creative space that are entrepreneurs that I am connected with. So I don't, I don't really know. I, well, I have to say here, I have to say people that uh, have done the social media campaigns for other people. They have to be the most creative because they have to drive traffic to that person's website. My my social media person, she's phenomenal. So I love her. So that's the person I think that I'm connected to that I, I think has is the most creative. All right. That's a good answer. I like that one. Uh, Hershey. Is there any single thing that you simply cannot exist without? Chocolate. That was easy. His well, name Hershey. <laughs> I mean, come on now. That was a layup. Next yeah. card. That was too easy. Too easy. Yes. Hershey, what does your perfect day look like? Oh, uh, practicing some self-care, uh, checking in with family to make sure they're doing good. Um, my son and my aunt, uh, my dad's side of the family, I spoke with him yesterday. Uh, just kind of being in a, a state of maybe um, everything just being cohesive and, and being zen, that would be a perfect day for me. And having some chocolate, having something very nice to eat, doing some work and getting some things accomplished uh, and just having a really copacetic time of day. That's a good day. Takes a little <laughs> planning that day, but I think that's right. Uh, Hershey, if you have to delete all but three apps from your phone, what would the first, what would those three remaining apps be? Uh, those three, it would, one would be LinkedIn, the other one would be um, the, uh, I would have to say Instagram. And another one would be, I have several self-care apps that I have, but the one that I have, I can't remember the name of it, but it has affirmations. So I listen to those daily as well. So those would, just, would be the three that I would keep. All right, good life work balance there. Let's see, uh, the next card, do you have a green thumb? No, mm -mm. no, <laughs> no. The, the thing is, I love animals. I love plants because um, I'm very, um, I love nature. So I, I can go in and just be one with the soil and the plants. They, everything has its purpose in life. Um, and everything is, it, 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 everything's connected through energy. Uh, but I'm not good with, with making sure that I, I, I preserve anything that's green. <laughs> So you appreciate it. It's just not going to survive on your windowsill. Yes. <laughs> These are good things that we should know about ourselves. 
Hershey, what is the worst thing you've ever eaten out of politeness? Um, so there is this, <laughs> so this is, we're being honest here. <laughs> there is this casserole uh, that my ex-husband cooked and it was, it, yes, yeah, and if he ever sees this, he's going to know what I'm talking about. Uh, when we first started dating, he wanted to impress me and he cooked this casserole and I'm, I don't eat boiled eggs. So it had boiled eggs in it. And I took a couple of bites and I liked it. And then when I got to the third bite and had the boiled egg and I was like, I can't eat this. And he didn't know that. And that, that was his 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 uh, aha moment, his epiphany. Uh, he never cooked it for me again. I, everyone else liked it. I just didn't like it. So yeah, I have to say this casserole. I don't even know what the name of the casserole is, but yeah, it had seafood and boiled eggs and cheese and stuff in it. And yeah, okay. well, I'm sorry. Uh, well, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> she's not sorry at all. If you're watching this, she's not sorry at all. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Um, oh, now you might have to use your mediator skills a little bit. Does the person flying in the middle seat get both armrests? Mm. No, it's not fair. It's not fair. Um, I'm not even a person that flies in the middle seat, but I wouldn't, if I were, if I were in the middle seat, then I wouldn't, I mean, it, I guess it would just have to, I would have to see who was going to do what first. And if I get, I get one, I can get one, but I think that the person that's flying next to the window, they really don't get a, they shouldn't really get a, an armrest because it's, it's an unfair advantage at that point. I am a window seat person though. I have to fly window seat because flying increases my anxiety. So I need to see when it's bumpy, I need to see what's going on outside. I'm not sure if that's going to help, but I need to see. <laughs> but I'm nice and courteous and I will at least let the other person have the, uh, the armrest next to me. All right. So when they fly next to you, they get at least one. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, Hershania, what is the most re recent show that you have binge watched? Oh, uh... Let me see, that I completed or that I started? Your choice. Okay. That I completed would have to be, um, uh, because I did them kind of together. So I binge watched the one with uh, that was talking about, um, what's his name from the Cosby show? Uh, Bill Cosby, I don't even know how, I, I forget his name, Bill Cosby. There was, there was a, a, a documentary about him uh, that I saw uh, that was pretty good. Uh, and there was another one uh, that I saw uh, actually on Netflix as well. Um, that one was the one. Uh, I can't remember these titles. So it was more so about the, the black power movement. So I did, I did binge watch that, but in terms of, um, like drama and comedy and feel good was the reboot to sex in the city. Um, what is the name of that one? See, I can't remember the names of them. Um, and just like that. Okay. Yeah, because I, I did like I love Sex and the City, and I did like that one. It's different than Sex and the City, but they they kind of merged in some some current topics, so I did like it. All right, I'll have to look for those. And Hershenia, I always leave the last question uh, with all of my guests the same, and that is, what do you love most about the work that we do in the resolution industry? Oh, I love uh, I love it the most because we get to be uh, neutral. We don't get to advocate. We get to be neutral and and really listen to the the parties. Everybody's uh, perspective is different, so we don't infringe our own perspective uh, on what's transpiring in a particular case. Or, uh, but being that person that helps to hopefully helps to settle, so to create some type of facilitation for the the parties to settle between themselves or to uh, really resolve any conflict. That's a special place to be in, that you, it's a win. It's a win when you can come out at the end of the day feeling like you've accomplished something and it was very productive between between both parties. Yeah. That's exactly right. All right, super. And if somebody wanted to look you up there in Texas, what's the best way for them to find you? 
Well, uh, my website, is it okay to give that information? You bet. Sure. So, okay. My website is habrownadr.com. Very nice. Well, Shania, thank you so much for joining me for an idle chat. It was really lovely getting to know you a bit. Thank you, Natalie, for having me. I appreciate it. You bet.